It don't make no dang sense. It don't make no damn sense at all. But here I am, bringing it to you. Maybe it's just a natural part of the solar system cycle where everybody freaks out all the time for no reason. You know, it happens to people. People freak out all the time for no reason. So why can't planets do it, man? Planets are a lot like people. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners. And that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Okay, everybody's been talking about the weather. Some people feel they know everything about the weather. Some people don't know anything about the weather. And then there's me. I got an idea. But oh, I would love to learn more as to why this weather is so wacky. Is it geoengineering? Is it carbon related? Is it carbon exclusive? Would a carbon tax fix it? LOL what? Does the sun have any effect on the weird, wacky weather and earth wobble? Man, I'm just here to present what I know. Take a couple guesses. Because I sure as heck don't know it all. You know what I'm saying? But after watching these cameras over and over and over again, I would swear I'm seeing some patterns that are returning. For example, we now have quadrupole pressure spots that somehow guide our North Pole asterisk. We've had the big main one between Greenland and Europe. It's been sitting there for over two years now. We now have one nested over Alaska. It seems to be working as a team with the European Greenland high pressure spot, mean sea level pressure spot, to cause us to have really wacky weather. And then now we got the pressure spot in the West Pacific, which has been causing a lot of cyclones. And then we got the fourth one in the middle of nowhere. And now we're feeling a lot of pressure down in what I call the volcano zone of South America and parts of the South. Now we're taking a look at the jet stream that we have. So this is the jet stream that these mean sea level pressure points create. Does that look weird to you? It looks really, really weird to me. It looks nothing like the jet stream they taught me about when I was growing up. It almost looks like a hummingbird alien in the middle with eight eggs on his back and two long tails. So we now have two jet streams, north and a south. Instead of westerly wind, we're getting a lot of southerly wind. We got a lot of turnstile doohickeys, look like bug eyes, that are help whipping the wind around. That are helping whip the wind around. And that is crazy. You see, yeah, there's America. The south has been getting nailed with moisture and wind. Hail. And you look at this and you can't help but say, what the hell, man? This weather is so weird. And I got a feeling it's just going to get weirder. And when I stare at all the bug eye turnstile doohickeys in the middle of our country, like, what causes that, man? And why is there a big Boy Scout? Indian head arrow off Baja, California. It don't make no dang sense. It don't make no damn sense at all. But here I am, bringing it to you. Maybe it's just a natural part of the solar system cycle where everybody freaks out all the time for no reason. You know, it happens to people. People freak out all the time for no reason. So why can't planets do it, man? Planets are a lot like people. Wait, now that I think about it, there's actually no difference between planets and people. Asterisk. I just said that to get a laugh or a rise out of you. Forgive me, I think we both know. There are a difference between planets and people. Oh, I just heard somebody talking about the Edgar Casey map. Remember, it's a dangerous subject. Last night, we see the East Coast get pounded as these big storms come to the West, whip on through, and then nail the coast. So, I don't know what's going on, you know? I just know these are crazy days indeed. So, I advise everybody to stay cool, enjoy life, keep your eyes on the skies, stay aware of the weather, don't take any weather risks. Maybe we'll all make it through this. The white is high pressure, and the blue is low pressure. And I would guess solar wind causes high pressure, and... Earthquake crap goes low pressure. But I know I'm totally wrong, and science definitely wouldn't agree with that. There was just a wacky far out there guess, and that's why you come to Thor News. The wacky far out there guesses. That one sounded pretty good to me. You know, coming from under, it's volcano. It's coming from above, it's outer space. I'm a simplifier. Yeah, that is one crazy jet stream, bro. This is not your father's jet stream. It's like when they told us the sun had four poles. Apparently, maybe Earth does too. Now, how carbon caused Earth to have four poles? I don't know. <laughs> you can tell me. You can let me know. Maybe Phil Plate will write an article on it. Europe has the giant CERN-sponsored low-pressure system of them all. And it's been causing some wild weather over there from when I hear. I'm a good listener. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm not. I guess that's life, right? I hadn't made a video in a week, and I feel so weird about it, you know? Anyway, it's good to be back. This one's simple. This one's easy. Just keep your head up. Peace out. God bless everyone.